Okay, so I was supposed to make this video um, last weekend, but I didn't have time, so I'm going to make a short video. I won't describe exactly how it's made, but I'll show the parts, and it's not the cleanest thing ever. It's not all hidden, but it is possible to hide it all if you have more space than I did to work with. And basically what I've made is a locking um, hallway that shoots arrows at anyone who steps on the plate. So the dispenser is hidden behind a block and dispensers for right now, although Notch said he was planning on fixing it, can fire through objects if they're one block in front of it. So with that I can put a dispenser behind a chest and hide a pressure plate on a similar looking floor so this would be stone flooring um, and it would blend in and anyone who stepped on it would get stuck trapped and killed basically so it's slightly confusing if you've never used redstone wiring before and don't know about logic gates but I'm sure you can find videos all about it on YouTube so I'm not going to go too in depth but basically your pressure plate or mine anyway is coming down here and powering this wire to an RS Norledge which if you don't know what it is it's a memory cell that takes the state from a switch or a button or a pressure pad and especially for buttons and pressure pads which aren't permanent it makes it so that you can have a permanent button and a permanent pressure pad because when the power is applied to this block it turns this off which stops this from being shut off and then that holds this off and then when you want to reset it you apply power from another source into this block and it basically cycles so using that in the pressure plate the pressure plate turns off that goes up to the door and this is off this goes through to here in, into an inverter that's not necessary but this inverter is applying power to the rapid pulse and if you don't know what this is or how to use it you watch my last video I explain it in detail but basically to keep this off you need to supply power to it and that's why it's on an inverter this goes here where it's not connected same thing last video and at the end of last video I said that I was not sure if you could put the torch underneath and you can and it's very useful in this situation and I'm going to turn off the music because it is very loud but now with that all together this wouldn't be wired obviously like this but I didn't have any space you don't really need even the door but I thought it was a nice touch so this would be the reset button that resets the RS nor latch and if you load it up with arrows I'll show you what happens and pretend that I can't open the door because it's not a steel door obviously but it should be so I come in and open the chest and I'm dead and there's not really much to say about that if you have any questions about how it works that I didn't cover you can ask in the comments I'll try to answer everything as quick as possible that's kind of funny but what is that no that's all my stuff
But yeah. Unless they have something out that they can uh. dig through the walls quickly, which you could fix by using obsidian and an outer layer. I wouldn't use it inside because it's too obvious. But just other than that, you use common sense to make it is hard to use. It. It's easy to fall for as possible. I would also advise you put the pressure plate here instead. I didn't put it there because I needed that space. But if you push it here, if you don't put it there, people aren't likely to walk all the way up to the chest to open it. So they may or may not set it off. That's about it. Like I said, if you have any questions, ask in the comments and I'll try to answer you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Bye.